This super fun letter by Craft Cuts is 18 inches tall. I'm going to decorate it by using Mod Podge and this cardstock from Simple Stories called Noteworthy. I'm using a squeegee so I get a nice, flat, smooth coverage before I put the cardstock on. This letter is going to be part of a big project by other crafters to spell the word creativation, and we are going to have it on display at Creativation this year. I'm using different squeegees to get all the air bubbles out, and I'm using parchment here to help me not destroy my paper in the process. This is so easy. I'm going to use Mod Podge and continue the process until I have the entire letter covered. Then I'm going to, when it's dry, flip it over and use my craft blade to just trim off that extra bit of paper there. Super easy. Then I just took the ephemera from the same collection, kind of laid it out there how I wanted it, and used my Barely Art glue to adhere it to the project. That very easy once you get it situated the way you want it, and that Barely Art is a good stick to it. I did reach out to the Diamond Dots company. They are the sponsors of my project, and they sent me some wonderful tools to use to embellish these pieces of ephemera that you are seeing me put down now. So they sent the adhesives and the tools and the, oh, the diamonds themselves. So Diamond Dots is my sponsor this has been such a fun project, took me hours and hours. The first thing I use is Dot Stick. That is their adhesive. And if you use a brush, you can put it in just in the areas you want to adhere the diamonds. It comes on white and very shiny. And then as it sort of dries or cures, it becomes clear in about 10, 15 minutes. Once it is clear, it is very tacky and you can put the diamonds on there using their tool, one diamond at a time. So you see me filling in these numbers here. And when it's all done, they are so pretty and they're very shiny. You just got to get that light to shine on them. It's a very relaxing project. And I did diamonds over every part of the ephemera that I wanted to accentuate. Whenever I had a really tiny spot, I would use the dot stick in this syringe and that really worked well. It just fills in that tiny little area. You could use your tiny brush. That would work just as well. But I like the control of the syringe there to fill this in and then put the diamond dots on it. Like I said, you could also use a fine brush. Now I'm using Gem Tac to get rhinestones on the center of the flowers before I put diamond dots around those. Look at the shine and the sparkle. It still felt like the project needed some oh, a border or a frame around it once I was done doing this. So I got out my Distress Ink in Peacock Feathers and I just went around the cardstock edge here to give it that little accent. And when I was done, it still needed a little more. So I got out my Baker's Twine and Fabri-Tac. I just ran an, a bead of that along there and put the Baker's Twine on there and let that set to where it was cured. Uh, Fabri-Tac is cured in 24 hours. Well, once I did that, I used actually the Dots Guard and that was protects it, uh, the diamonds from lint and it's kind of seals them in there and covers up that excess glue. And yet it's still nice and shiny. It protects all of those diamonds and still keeps them shiny. But once it's all done, I still had paper to protect. So in the end, I ended up using, uh, to protect the paper, I used this product coming up here. I used it on the paper and the twine. It gave the twine a little bit of stability there as well. So this was, this part was fairly easy to do. It gave it a nice smooth matte finish. You can see I even got some paper clips in my in my project. I figured this was a good uh, example of what a paper crafter would do. All of us putting together, the, doing a different letter for creativation. Uh, the entire word is going to be such an eclectic, beautiful creative project showing what the creative professionals do. And it will be on display at Creativation and be 20 feet long. 
follow NAMTA on social media and come take a look at this final product. I think it turned out really well. Special thanks again to Diamond Dots.